Welcome to the revamp basement dino dungeon. Yes, many of you guys have been asking me to do Giganotosaurus versus T-Rex collection. So now we will be doing it, okay? I've basically compiled our T-Rex and Giganotosaurus. So let's get right into it. Hey guys, I'm Dan and welcome back to the BDD. Yes, we have revamped this place. I'm gonna show you guys a quick tour after the video, okay? So stay tuned for the entire video. So many of you guys have been asking me to do a Gigar versus a T-Rex collection, so we will be doing it today. But majority of the figures will be T-Rex because we don't have many Gigars, so let's get right into it. All right, so let's begin our Giga versus T-Rex collection. There will definitely be more T-Rex figures because we don't have that many Giga, but I will only show you guys the interesting T-Rex figures, okay? okay? So let's begin. Our first figure right here is actually a beautiful mini Giga from the um, blind bag. Not too sure whether you guys have seen it or read. Rather blind boxes, okay? So this is our first one. And the next one, I'm gonna show you guys a very interesting T-Rex figure, which is a Mashem. So we got this like a couple of weeks back. It's a really cool one. So right at the back, not too sure whether you guys have already seen the very, very cool Super Colossal Giganotosaurus right over here versus the new Super Colossal T-Rex figure, okay? Um, we have actually just unboxed both of them recently. This was just done yesterday. If you guys have not seen this video, please go and check it out. I'm super happy with um, you know, this figure. I think it looks really, really fantastic. Next up, let's take a look at the latest. Um, okay, well, how about let's take a look at Giga first. Okay, this one is not an official Jurassic World Giga figure, but this is one that I really really love. It's actually from Nanmu Studio, I think it looks really fantastic. One of the most realistic Giga figures that you can act actually find out there. Yeah, I definitely you know recommend this if you want to like collect like really nice, um, realistic figures. Okay, next figure. Let's fix this together. I think we have like a um puzzle, so not too sure how how we're gonna do this. Let's try. All right, you know we we actually assembled this previously, but I think this one is like really really fun to play with. So let's do this together again, once more. So this is basically from the Camp Cretaceous and um, it's actually like a McDonald's Happy Meal free gift. So it's kind of cool, all right? So these are basically the arms. But I think if they release like new, new Happy Meal figures when it comes to, um, um, you know, for the Jurassic World Dominion, I think that would be really fantastic. I'm really looking forward to that. I'm pretty sure there would definitely be like McDonald's um, collaboration so you'll be getting like you know the minion figures I think that will be really really awesome I feel they will they should be coming out like probably in July yeah probably in July we'll definitely be getting like happy meal figures of um you know the minion that would be fantastic we're almost done now we just need to put this in this is like um uh, the, the left hind leg and right now this is the um right hind leg looks really nice okay so this is basically um the t-rex from camp cretaceous very very nice let's put this right over here not too sure whether you guys have already seen this this base um is basically a new figure that we have just unboxed yesterday it is actually like a noble collection you know mini not exactly super mini it is a t-rex statuette you know taken from the scene from the very first movie of Jurassic Park. I think it looks really, really fantastic. Yeah, I'm keeping this in my at my lever 2 shelf. All right, let's move on and take a look at another Giga. This is another Giganotosaurus right over here. I think this is like our third official Jurassic World Giga because there aren't many for us to collect at the moment. So this is basically a um, stretchy, a stretchy Giga right here. Uh, it looks fantastic. I, I love this. It's really, really adorable. I think this right over here, but it can't stand at all, which is a very bad thing because you guys know I really love to, to display all my figures. And here's another one. I mean, this is the T-Rex equivalent. It looks really fantastic. Okay, putting this right here. All right, let's see what else we've got. Um, Yeah, this is basically... Have you guys seen my Dan Surprise like neon lighting logo? Yeah, I think it looks really good. Yeah, I'm basically having this because a lot of people, they were copying my videos. Yeah. So um, let's move on. 
Let's take a look at another awesome T-Rex figure, the latest one. Thrash and Devour Tyrannosaurus Rex. I think we have just reviewed this like, um, you know, a couple of days back. It's a really fantastic figure. So you can see the jaw really opens wide, much wider than majority of the T-Rex. You can also scan the code right here if you guys have not scanned it before. Thrash and Devour T-Rex, of course, you can use this, the thrashing function, by just twisting the tail. All right, um, let's put this right under, um, you know, this huge gigar. Hopefully, we are able to fit it right in. Yeah, there you go. Because we need to take like a nice thumbnail later on. All right, let's move on. Let me show you guys another gigar figure. Okay, this figure, it's actually a figure from a... Um, China manufacturer and I think that this figure is the best Giga figure ever you will ever find It is the most intricate most well detailed. I mean not the best you can ever find I mean the best you can find so far is from Vite. It's a really nice one Or right, it comes with a base, but I didn't bring the base because it's really really cumbersome and troublesome for me to bring it So I'm just bringing the figure to show you guys. It's a really nice one. Let me just place this right here Okay, let's move on. Let's move on. Let me show you. Maybe let me show you guys more T Rex because we really don't have so many gigas to compare. Okay, one of the latest one is actually this, the Mega Destroyer Stomp and Escape Tyrannosaurus Rex. I think this is a really really beautiful figure. Okay, you can actually twist the tail, and um, the feet will actually stomp. So this is a very very cool one. Okay, I've also brought the Epic Roaring T-Rex, but I think, uh, let me see, where is it? The Epic Roaring T-Rex is also a fantastic figure, but this figure right now, it doesn't have any batteries. I need to head out maybe tomorrow to buy some batteries because a lot of my figures, they are running out of batteries. And if you don't remove or replace them, they will actually corrode and destroy the figure. So be careful with that, okay? Make sure you guys actually take out all your batteries if not it really damage the figure okay next up another really new figure this is actually from the um uncaged series and these are like mini pop-ups i usually you know this is like an upgraded version of the um snap squad with some actions you can even see the eyes closing which is kind of cute and adorable so this is basically a t-rex we don't have a giga for now which is kind of um um, you know, PT. Yeah. All right. Let's let me move on and show you guys more interesting um, T-Rex figures first. How about this one? Okay, we actually just unboxed this um, recently. This is actually a vintage Jurassic Park die cast metal figure. It is actually made of metal. I don't think many of you guys have seen this before. Yeah, this is one of the rare ones that you can actually find in um my entire T-Rex collection. I've also brought two of these um, Zoom Riders. I mean, they are not really unique or, you know, really special because they are quite recent. But I thought they are quite interesting. Interesting figures for me to show you guys. All right, let's move on. Another really beautiful Giga figure. This is from um, Pinasso. A very realistic figure. I mean, if you take a look at the skin texture, the detailing done on, th on this figure looks like it's an actual crocodile. Yeah, I mean, it has a very crocodilian-like texture. You can actually open and close the jaw. The fingers are really well detailed. The entire figure is very, very nicely done. It comes with a base as well, but um, I didn't bring the base. because And um, without the base, it's actually not standing well. So I have to lean it against another figure like this. Yeah, looking very nice. Okay, let's move on and take a look at another T-Rex figure. How about another recent one? Okay, maybe not, not to show you guys too many of this. I didn't bring, you know, all the Mattel T-Rex because I feel that there are way too many. Uh, let me see. How about this one? You know, one of the latest Snap Squad. Really adorable looking. All right. Let me show you guys another T-Rex, maybe two more or three more. We have lots of minifigures right here. This is basically 
and old figure. It's not the latest one. I'm gonna show you guys the latest one later. Okay, this is basically one of the um, older blind bags. And this is like a metallic version of, um, you know, a snap squad. Really, really beautiful. And we also have another Happy Meal T-Rex that comes with a function that actually resembles Savage Strike. So yeah, once you push the tail, the jaw will snap. This is a very nice one. It's from McDonald's Happy Meal. Okay, moving on, let's see. Let me show you guys another really cute one that you may not have seen before. This one is actually from the Micro Collection. And do you guys know that there is actually a new Micro Collection set coming out? I'm, I'm unable to get it for now. Yeah, so I'm trying my best to find it because right now it's only available on eBay and it's costing a lot of money. Yeah, another really beautiful one is actually this minifigure. Yep, this is actually from Kinder Bueno. Oh no, Kinder Surprise. Or is it? No, I don't think it's Kinder Surprise. That's the uh, Kinder Joy. I think this is from Kinder Joy. It's a really cute and adorable figure, I must say. Uh, I like it a lot. All right, let's move on and take a look at some Gigas. How about um, this one? So basically for the PNSO version, we have two figures. Yeah, we have two of them. Um, two color variations. I don't think the head sculpt looks accurate. It doesn't look, you know, one bit like the one we see in, um, you know, Jurassic World Dominion. It doesn't look like it at all. But I feel that this is a quite a nice one for sure. All right. So we have a brownish red version. Okay, I'm gonna put this right here. It looks really, really good. I really love this figure a lot. It looks very realistic. All right, let's move on and see what else we've got. Um, let's see. Okay, another D gonna show you guys. This one is actually from, there's no particular brand to this, but this is actually sculpted and painted based on the DK Book of Dinosaurs is actually like an encyclopedia and I feel that this figure, it, it is fantastic. It is so much better than a lot of um, figures that we can find from the Jurassic World line. So this one is a really, really beautiful one. All right, let's move on and take a look at more T-Rex figure. How about this two right here? Okay, this one is actually from um, quite a couple of years back. There's no articulation on this figure, but it is very, very nice when it comes to the pose. It looks really, really good when it comes to the pose. This one, it's basically a metallic version, which is slightly rarer than the rest. Still a really beautiful figure. Okay, let me show you guys another Gigar. How about this one? This, it's one fantastic figure from a brand called W Dragon. Yeah, I spent quite a ton of money to, to purchase this because of the shipping fee. So you can see this figure, it's really unique. When you take a look at the right eye, this right eye is actually healthy and um, good. Whereas for the left eye, it is actually like blinded. So it's a visually impaired um, Gigar. Probably when it was engaged in a battle, you can see that's a scar over the um, left eye. Very, very beautiful figure. It comes with a base as well. I don't think it's able to stand on its own. Yeah, you can see it's like leaning towards one side. So we have to lean it against other figures just for it to stand. All right, let's move on. Let's take a look at more figures. How about this one? This is actually a vintage Jurassic Park 3 T-Rex. Still worrying because we just changed the batteries like a couple of months back. So pretty happy that it's still working. I'm actually putting it like this because it keeps falling over. So we are leaning it against the heel, heel so that it can stand better. Okay, let's take a look at another Gigar. This, fig this Gigar has got to be one of the most inaccurate yet most talk about figure. It is a very controversial figure because the head, the neck area here looks really weird and it's like standing upright. So this figure is like one of the most debated and one of the, you know, less accurate figures from Peppo. But nevertheless, when it comes to the detailing, the paint scheme, this figure is fantastic in that sense. But of course, 
the, the pose and the accuracy can be way better. All right, let's move on. Let me show you guys another really interesting T-Rex. This one is actually like a pot transformer, pot T-Rex. You can actually transform this figure into a robot. It was basically a collaboration between Jurassic Park and Transformer, which is kind of cool. Yeah, very cool, but I don't want to transform it because it is so hard for us to transform it back to a T-Rex. I've tried it many times. It's a nightmare for me. I'm not really good at transforming stuff. Okay, let's move on. Okay, we have one right here. This is actually a T-Rex. I mean, not a T-Rex. It's a Giga as well. I mean, if you take a look at this. Oh, it doesn't have the name written right below, but this is definitely a Giga. But not a super accurate version for sure. But still a very nice figure. I'm trying to see whether we have more space. Let's, cause I really need to move. Let's move in on um, the Giga. Let's move in the Giga. All right, we have to move in all of them. Cause later on we need to take like a nice thumbnail guys. Okay, so we need to take a very, very beautiful thumbnail. But it seems to be falling over majority of the figures. Oh my goodness, they are falling over. Can you guys like please hold on? Let me just fix this. Lean this against um right. This one as well. So all of this figure, they can stand without <laughs> without um support, without a base. Yeah, you can see they are like hardly standing. It's very very um kind of disappointing. Yeah. Alright. Uh, let me move on and uh, let me show you guys more figures. Okay, this one, I'm going to put it right behind, right here. I think this is able to stand. Okay, I'm going to show you guys two minifigures of T-Rex. We have one which is, um, I mean, both are actually from the Captive X. And I can't wait for me to receive the new series, the new um, Dominion series of the Captive X. Yeah, I think they're coming soon, so yeah, hopefully I can receive them like next week. So that I mean this week, so that I can actually make a video for you guys on that. Really feel looking forward to that. Okay, let's uh, move on. Um, I'm gonna show you guys this one. This is actually from Schleich. Not the most accurate figure. I mean, if you take a look at the face, it looks really weird. But the detailing of this figure is quite nice. But, I mean, definitely not as good as what you can find from like the likes of Papo, Nanmu Studio, PNSO for sure. Okay, another one which is, you know, similar, just with a different paint scheme. Not a huge fan of this cop, I feel the face looks really, really weird. Yep, definitely one of, not one of my most favorite figures. Okay, let's take a look at another one. We have the, um... Uh, what is this? Thrash and Throw, one of our first T-Rex figure ever. It's still roaring. Oh my goodness. It's basically destroyed the T-Rex island. I don't think we have space to actually put this, so I'm just gonna put this on the floor while I pick up another Giga to show you guys. Okay, this is actually another Giga, and this is from Bully Land. All right, if you take a look at this, it's from Bully Land. It's definitely not the best looking Giga you can find out there. Yeah, very weird when it comes to the face, for sure. Okay, let me show you guys another one, which um, I basically just brought a couple of um, T-Rex because there are way too many T-Rex from, you know, the Jurassic World line. And this is actually the um, Extreme Chomping T-Rex. Yeah, but I've no idea. Do you guys have the same issue as mine? Because this button can't be pressed no matter how hard you use it just can't be pressed i'm not too sure whether you guys are facing the same you know problem initially it was okay but after a few weeks or months they can't be pressed anymore which is very very disappointing okay let's move on we have two young t-rex yep from the legacy collection looks really cute they are basically like tribute to the um, young T-Rex figure that you can find from, you know, the Jurassic Park movies. Okay, you're gonna be putting this right here. And um, let's move on. Let me show you guys another really cool one. 
This it's a Giga from Safari LTD. I feel this figure is like one of the classic. This was released um, in 2017. It's a really beautiful figure. It comes with a base, can stand well for sure because it has a base. There's no way that it can actually fall off unless you really like whop it really hard. Okay, let me show you guys another really interesting and um, possibly one figure that you have never seen before. I mean, at least you have watched. I mean, unless you have watched it on my channel. This is a T-Rex mini statuette and um, it is actually from Sega. Yeah, from Sega. Very cool. Sega Universal Studio. Yeah, so they team up with Sega to produce um, a T-Rex figure as well as a Velociraptor blue. Let me see whether I'm able to push, put it right here. Yeah, it's fine. Another interesting figure. This is actually like a 2015 mini chomping T-Rex. Looks adorable. You can actually do this. How do you make the jaw chomp? I'm trying to find. Oh, you can actually press the legs downwards and the jaw will chomp. And you can move the tail to move the body. Yeah, very cool. Cute little figure, I must say. Very, very adorable figure. Are there more Gigars minis? No, I don't think so. But I have a lot of snap squats to show you guys. We have the green one, we have the brown one. I think this is like from the Camp Cretaceous version. So this is basically the um, snap squat attitudes. You know, the face actually comes with an expression. Let me show you guys a very, very rare, okay, not exactly super rare, but considerably rare, relatively rare, T-Rex Chaos Effect Tyrannosaurus Rex from Kenner. Yeah, it's a very, very old figure. I think this is like, you know, in the 1990s. Very beautiful figure. I love this figure a lot. Another Kenner figure, a rubber figure, it's actually this one. I got this from a seller in my country. I actually went to meet the seller and he was kind enough to sell me this at like, you know, less than 15 USD. Yeah, so it's quite a good bargain, I would say. Yep. Let's move on. Let me show you guys more interesting figures. I don't think we, I think we have still one or two more Gigars. This is a silver T-Rex. Okay, you can actually get this from the um, Captive Vax. It's quite rare. Oh no, um, yeah, this is quite rare. Okay, let me show you guys my first Giga Notosaurus figure. This is the one. Yeah, this is the one from Schleck. It's a really beautiful one. The texture is actually very different. It feels very rubbery, you can see. Some of the um, tails like scaling off, which is very sad. But this is one of, the, one of our first Giga figures. It holds a lot of memories. Okay. Another Giga figure, this is the um, juvenile version. So this is basically like the um, offspring. Offspring, the child of um, this Giga right here. So you can see the patterns on his body, the black patterns. The face is also um, slightly red. Yeah, so this is basically... I feel the juvenile Giga looks so much better than the um, adult one. The adult one looks way too thick. Yeah, the detailing done on it is... it's. It's kind of um, weird. A lot of um, unnecessary scaling done. Okay, let me show you guys more interesting T-Rex minifigures. Okay, we have two cup toppers. We got these two um, figures when I was in Thailand. A couple of years back, many years back. Okay. from It's actually like from the movie theaters. Very, very cool one. These two are basic figures. We are still awaiting our basic figures of the um, Dominion to arrive. We have the Therizinosaurus as well as the um, Gigar. So, hoping them, um, hoping that they will arrive really soon. Okay. All right. Um, let me show you guys this. So we have um, four figures right here. Four figures. Four figures right here. They are all like pretty much similar, okay? Pretty much similar. Okay, this is actually the new one. This is the latest one from the Dominion series. Let's see what else I've got to show you guys. Okay, let me show you guys this one. This is actually a um, T-Rex from the Takara Tomi Jurassic World. And speaking of Takara Tomi Jurassic World, there will be 
a couple of new figures to be released. There will be Gigar, there will be Pyroraptor, there will be Atrociraptor, um, Giganotosaurus. I mean, I've said that already. T Rex. I'm looking forward to that for sure. Okay, let me show you guys more interesting figures. This is one is actually known as a Bandy Biter. I'm not too sure whether you guys have seen this before. So you're basically able to bend its tail, even the legs, cause there's actually like a wiring inside. So you're able to bend this into um, different poses as you like it. Cute figure. Okay, another one. This one is actually from Prime One Studio. It's a quite, you know, a relatively more expensive figure than the rest of the um, figures that you have seen. But I was quite disappointed with the um, detailing done on the, the figure. It's not really well detailed. You can see a majority of um, the areas, they are like, like very blurred. Not as intricate as the one that you can find from like Nanmu Studio. So it's a nice figure to have, but not... I mean, it could be so much better. So I was a little bit disappointed when I received this. And it comes with a base as well. Yep. But of course, I didn't bring the base. Next! We have another one which is known as the um, Hybrid T-Rex. Yeah, this is actually known as the Hybrid T-Rex. Um, it's a cute one. I mean, it's not like the best. I mean, a lot of um, a lot of Jurassic Park and Jurassic World fans actually despise, you know, the series that that uh, that's, this figure was released along with. But personally, I still feel that this is kind of a nostalgic and um, kind of a like, retro. So it's good to have it in my collection as well. Need to change the batteries for sure. There's so many figures we need to change the batteries, so oh my goodness. I have to buy plenty of them. Okay, another figure. This one is actually the bite and fight. I like this one a lot because the movement is very very cool. How come the jaw is not opening anymore? Okay, and it doesn't get stuck that easily. Okay, there's two two functions. Yeah, but the jaw is like stuck right now. Very weird. Probably it's because um, it's kind of dirty right here, so you need to like clean it to make um, you know the closing a bit more smoother. Let's try this again. Nah, it's not working. You have to open it manually yourself. I think that's fine. It's fine with me. All right, we have two last figures right here. A super tiny T-Rex figure, okay? I can't remember how we got this. I think that came along probably with a human figure or you know was just with together with a vehicle. I think it was with a vehicle. And um the Snap Squad. The original Snap Squad figure. Yeah, so basically um yeah. Alright, I think since we I've actually shared my entire collection with you guys right here. I mean not my entire collection of T-Rex figures, I think T-Rex alone, we have at least 100 to even 200 figures of a T-Rex. So it's impossible for me to do like a um, full collection video for you guys. But what I want to do right now, it's basically for me to show you guys around in my studio, okay? So I've basically just purchased this shelf right here and I put it right here. I think our room is getting a bit cramped at the moment, but I think it's fine because I've actually cleared a lot of space right here so we can probably install a couple of shelves over here to put more figures this poster is coming off so I need to put this back yeah I bought the shelves we need to drill the shelves on ourselves yeah so this shelf will be basically used to put some um, display items I mean some of the figures that we need to unbox will be placed here as well okay and I've actually put the, um, the Jurassic World Dominion box right over here. So inside, I'll be keeping some of the um, unopened um, action figures inside. Okay, I'll be putting some of them in so that we can save some space at level 2 so that we have more space to display Dominion figures. I've basically shifted my um, Funko Pop figures. They used to be here and I've put them right over there because Funko Pop figures, I'm able to like stack them really high up to the ceiling. You can see some of the um, Takara Tomi figures right over there as well. Okay, so this part is basically left untouched. I have some of my personal belongings, some of my personal awards, um, the PNSO figures. I've basically cleared the PNSO figures used to be on top of this shelf. So I've cleared the space 
so that we can put this to Colossus right over here. Yeah, very cool. This portion will be dedicated, you know, mostly to our um, Imagine Next figure. So there will be a couple of new Imagine Next figure that will be unboxing. For example, like this Psychosaurus, once it's being unboxed, oh, I'm gonna shift it over here. Okay? And this figure are basically some of the extras that we have, you know, that I intend to keep them as original packaging from the um, Dominion series. So I think we might be able to get a few more. So this space is basically where we put our mask, our mask, our stuff, um, stuff figures. Yeah. So yeah. All right. So basically, this is about it. That's about it. Gigar versus T-Rex collection. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this video. Um, yeah, stay tuned for another one. I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.